the ESP32 and A266 are fantastic boards with built-in wireless connectivity, making them easy to use with Wi-Fi libraries that handle all the complex radio functions for you. Most of these boards come with integrated PCB antennas, which are cheap and generally work fine. However, if they don't work fine, diagnosing issues in the mysterious realm of radio signals is no fun. In this video, I will shine a light on this radio magic. We will do a black box experiment to understand the system's behavior, so no need to delve into Smith charts. I mean, imaginary part? I think I will need an imaginary part of my brain to understand this. What you see here is an actual measurement of an ESP board. No need for special equipment, only an ESP board, a PC and a spreadsheet like Excel. This is the test setup. On the left is the ESP board we want to test. On the right is the Wi-Fi signal source. The ESP can measure its own Wi-Fi RSSI or Received Signal Strength Indicator with some code. Then we rotate the ESP board and collect 30 RSSI readings for each angle using the serial monitor and use Excel to make a graph. So you only need your ESP board, a Wi-Fi router, the Arduino IDE and a spreadsheet. Now let's go check some cool signals. This is the test setup. On the right you see the serial monitor. On the left the Excel sheet and in the right bottom corner the ESP board under test. The code in the ESP32 will return an RSSI reading every 3 seconds. I wait until I have about 30 readings. I will explain the code later. Now I have almost 30 readings. I copy, paste in Excel. Now I turn the board, clear the serial monitor and get another 30 readings for 45 degrees. Turn, copy, paste until the table is filled. So now I have a table with about 30 RSSI values for each rotation angle of the board. I take the average and copy the average values here and I use a radar chart to show the results. The radar chart you can find here at Insert, Charts, All Charts and here you see Radar. To adjust the scale Right click on it, format axis and set the minimum and maximum. You see that the ESP32 sensitivity you see that the ESP32 is very sensitive to direction. The sensitivity at 90 degrees is the best, minus 44 dB. Here at 315 degrees is a dead spot which is 11 dB worse. 11 dB on a linear scale that is over 12 times less signal power. Now I did this for several boards. First the ESP32, horizontal and vertical. In the vertical test imagine these eyes facing the Wi-Fi router is 0 degrees. Then the Wemos D1 Mini, also horizontal and vertical. Then the ESP01, which is not worse in spite of the very small PCB antenna. Finally, I tested an ESP12F module with a stick antenna. You can buy these antennas with a connector. I cut the PCB antenna and I cut the wire and solder the wire on the board. This really improves RSSI and also has much less directional sensitivity. 
this is the code I use to get the RSSI readings. We start with including the Wi-Fi library. For the ESP8266, use this library. For the ESP32, use this one. Please uncomment the one that you need. Then here you enter your Wi-Fi information, the SSID and password. For this experiment, I did not use a Wi-Fi router. Instead, I used an ESP8266 set as an access point. Here the serial monitor starts at 115,000 baud. It will print dots in the serial monitor while it's connecting to the Wi-Fi. And when it's connected, it will go to the loop and every three seconds print the RSSI to the serial monitor. I will leave a link to the code in the comments. Testing the Wi-Fi signal pattern gave me much insight in the weak spots of the ESP devices. For instance, in one room an ESP12 based dimming node often had problems, which were fully solved by just turning the device by 90 degrees. I also took a little tour through my house, with a laptop and an ESP device checking out the RSSI levels to see how strong the signal was in each room. So now I have a clear picture of my Wi-Fi's reach and reliability. I hope this video was useful for you. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and leave your experiences and tips in the comments.